Hi, welcome to our demonstration of the latest version of Flash Tune software. Um, you'll see that in this uh, tutorial we're using version 2.3.6.6, um, which as of the 11th of August 2016 is the current version. When you first open the software, you'll see that uh, you have the file manager open. And from this, we can see that um, we have uh, bikes by manufacturer and uh, under the stock ECU images. So these images are uh, an exact copy of the, of the image that's on the ECU when it comes out of the factory. Um, for instance, if we wanted to uh, work with a H2, um, we open up the H2, the 2015-2016. If we're working on a current EU model 2016, um, then we can simply open that file. Files are always downloaded from the FlashTune server, so you need internet um, connectivity in order to do so. Um, so this is the stock file that um, we have open, um, which we, you would use um, to return the bike to its uh, to, uh, the bike's ECU to how it was when it came out of the factory. Um, normally, though, what we'll be doing is opening up the software and using the unrestricted ECU images for a particular bike. In this case, I'm opening the current model of the um, Kawasaki H2 um, EU. And um, you'll see when we open the software, we have the various sections. We've got ECU mapping and ECU settings, and then paid for features. So ECU mapping is really uh, the, currently to, to be used by a dyno engineer, really, um, in order to edit um, uh, the fuel maps um, in the different modes. Um, and also uh, things like ignition timing and adjusting the throttle by wire. Um, for for a, an a, a amateur user um, who's looking really just to de-restrict the bike, um, then the, the the unrestricted ECU images come with fueling for a decat and end can. Um, we'll get we'll get you pretty good gains um, without the need to go to a dyno sh shop, um, and they should run the bike within normal fuel fueling parameters. So the bike won't be running overly lean, uh, which can obviously damage the engine, and it won't be running overly rich. Um, for for an amateur user though, um, it, it, it's just a case of opening the software, uh, decide deciding whether they want to um, enable disable settings. Decided they're going to use the uh, a paid for feature such as the uh, auto blipper, uh, which requires a license, and then coming up here to device. And once they have the cable inserted, click right ECU and follow the prompts to um, flash the bike. 